ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spryfield Arena, <clears throat> Sunday, July 18th, 7.30 p.m., and we're on time. We're just setting for O Canada here, and uh, people are still rolling in. I'll take this gum out of my mouth because that's 100% inappropriate. I knew I'd be talking to people with coffee on my breath. <laughs> All righty. Well, we're setting for O Canada here. The starting lineup, so you'll see them here lining up, and I'll see if I can't get them to you right away. But I am expecting 100% barn burner here. This is game four. This means a lot to everybody here involved. This potentially could put Dartmouth out of this series. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is big. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. <coughs> I'm your guest announcer tonight, Sean Harrison. Normally you see me on the floor, but today you'll see, hear me in your ear. It is game four. It is do or die for Dartmouth. Halifax could probably give one away here, but no one wants to go to game five. Because believe it or not, if you go to game five, you'll see me on the floor. Scott McMullen and Mike Melvin are your officials tonight. The Northwest. Robbie Grant is the starter. It's hard to see these numbers from the side. You'll hear this excitement all night here. Justin Graham with a draw. Check that. Robbie Graham picks that ball up and fires it up here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game four here live from Spryfield. This is going to be a good one. Halifax will push that ball down right away. Patty Kelly's going to turn that one loose. Quickly will deep that one down into him over the top of the net. And he's in the crease right away. Tom Bakeef has the ball. He's going to move it up the wall. Trey Carvey's going to bring that in strong. Now, we can't go with one on three here. We can't beat on him all night. But you know what? Well, you're going to have to get it done here because whatever happens, there's a reset right there. Whatever happens, Dartmouth needs to win. This is pressure. You've got to put everything out here on the floor. And you can rest assured that. You can rest assured that's going to happen. Uh oh, we got too many men. Just as I'm looking at that same thing. All right, so you can't get, uh, you don't want to be getting lazy, I guess, from Halifax's end. And you certainly don't want to give anything up. So Dartmouth is going to come up the ball strong here. Lawrence Liver is going to drag that in over the top and push to go one on one right away. That's not a shot. Bobby Green picks that up on the wall. He's going one handed and loose. He needs a pick. Now Sir gets that deep into Young Penny with a shot on goal. Keith Langell picks that ball up and drags it in. Backhanded off to his buddy. 
And right up to John McDonald. He'll drag that ball in over the top. First stripe down. See if he can't get that across the top. The ball drops. We got two sixes, so I'm going with Robbie Grant on O here. Loose. Rob Grant has to get that ball off. He's got a double, he's got a triple. He flings that one wide off the ball all the way around. He's gonna have to drop that ball right there. All right. Ryan Daly's gonna pick that one up with 18-12 to play in the first period. The ball at control at the top. Swings it across inside to Daly and he pot starting his first goal of the night. One nothing, that's what they need to do at the 18 minute mark. They need to score early and often here. It's gonna be a long game, but no doubt being off to the lead right away is gonna be important. So with 18 minutes left to play, you've got your first goal of the game. And that's what, you know, you need to expect that. That's exactly what the type of pressure they need. Halifax can't go flat. Dartman needs to continue that. And another one draw by Dartmouth. The ball's bouncing loose. Trey Carvery's gonna pick that up with a fresh clock and a change. He's going one on one, but he doesn't wanna take that. He's going to the ground, sticks are loose, the ball comes out. Halifax with a reset. They're gonna take that ball from D and transition that up the floor. Philip Elford puts that ball off. He a man number 16 here who's gonna bring that in over the side here to Chris Walker, who has a shot on goal. You can expect a lot of those from him because he's a shooter. There's no denying that one. Fresh 30, Carvery's gonna start with that ball. Okay, so what we'd like to see really here on this offensive set here for Dartmouth is lots of shots. Make sure they pepper the goaltender. We're going one-on-one -on -one again here from the top. Bobby Green's trying to go in on him I don't know if that's gonna be a successful mission here. If you keep doing that all night, you're gonna end up with, he's one on one, but Keith, oh, doesn't get it off. Halifax, transition, they like that. Slow and steady wins the race here. Okay, John McDonald's gonna take that ball again like he always does, he's the quarterback of the offense. Strong shot on goal, good save. Yeah, so this I think is a new goaltender here in the, in the big trade. All right, so here we go. We got a little speed. He's going to drag that ball around the net. Alex Bungie. And a change. Okay. Justin Graham's taking that ball. He's trying to go one on one here again. These guys haven't seen a pick and roll all game. You wonder it's only one nothing. There's not much going on here tonight at Spryfield. Halifax will take that ball gladly on defense and transition that up. The thing about it is, is you know, you get down here and you got 20 seconds. This is what I'm talking about. A little bit of pressure wouldn't hurt. Here's a reset. Good shot on goal. That was good. There was 15 seconds left on the 30. Slow and steady. They need to set it up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Daly's going to take that ball deep like he should. Get that guy turning. Here's a pick and roll. Now Cyril dropped that deep. Little Penny there with the ball. He's going to fire that one cross with a fake. And it's where it should have went. And across inside. Here goes Bobby Green one-on-one -on -one with a shot on goal, and it goes wide. Not even a shot on net. All right, they're going to play through that. Corelli Ambrose with the ball here, comfortably in the back end. He's pretty steady with the hands. All right. Right back to Chris Walker with the ball here. He's four. They need to wait. A little bit of chopping. Some, not some happy feelings going on there. Those were some pretty aggressive chops. Trey Carvery with the ball. There's one back. All right, so we're going one-on-one. -on -one. You know he's going to take it strong at him. Oh, and he loses it. But luckily, it's Dartmouth's ball. With 20 seconds left in the 30, they'll comfortably pick that up. Make a change. And uh, see if they can't get a shot on goal here. With just about 10 seconds left to go in the 30, we'll see Ryan Daly go one-on-one -on -one here at the top. You see a lot of one-on-one -on -one here. And a shot from the point off the goaltender. That'll be Dartmouth ball. Brett. Oh, slippery in the corner. Ball comes out to now. See who's gonna go one-on-one -on -one with a swing back to the top, but it's stopped by Justin Meisner who's gonna hustle with 
Also, Lawrence Liver all the way back to the goal. All right. We're going to get adjustment on the goaltender's name because I'm not certain on who 29 is right now. But now it's here from the top with a quick shot on goal. Saved Handley in the feet. Brandon DeVoe, steady as she goes. Okay, John McDonald. <coughs> He'll push that ball strong left. But there's only four guys, five guys now on the floor here. He's ISOed. Three, two, boom. Nice save in the feet there. All right, Riley Ambrose with the ball back to John McDonald. Pat Kelly can't pick that ball up. Lucy picked up by Lawrence Liver, and Nerva's going to start that one up with 13.38 left to go. There's been a handful of minutes go by with not really a whole lot going on. It's still 1-0 for the visitor, Dartmouth. They're 1-on-5 on here, 3-on-5. There's finally the first pick and roll. And the guy runs free down the backside. He's standing wide open again. All right, Bretton Penny with the ball strong at the top. He's pretty confident and strong stick. Dumps it in deep. Nothing doing there. Just another great defense by Halifax. They need to get going offensively, though. You know, it's time. So Riley Ambrose will walk that ball up once again to the quarterback, John McDonald. There's a little bit of a battle going on down here. A little stick and roll here with Gavin Quigley. We got a penalty. I missed it. I looked down briefly. 13 and Blue's going to get a checking from behind. Adam Connor from Dartmouth. You know, Adam plays an aggressive game, and that's a tough part about him. I mean, he's on the borderline. He plays on the line. He plays on the edge. And, I mean, it's good that he plays that aggressive, but it sometimes kind of bites him in the tail. Uh, okay, so Halifax, you know, is strong on this power play when they're five on four. They're pretty high percentage, I'm sure. So we'll watch every one of these fellas touch the ball. I'm sure the ball here will get fired off here at some point, but you'll see these guys. Each one of them will touch this. Everybody's pretty friendly. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so we're under just under 10 here. There's a shot on goal from Patty Kelly, who will pick up the loose ball and reset to a 30. And that's okay, too. They'll swing that ball around. Everybody's pretty confident with the stick. And the upside is, is there's still 20 seconds left on the 30, so you don't have to worry about that. Head effects will regroup. Dartmouth will back off here and probably into a box, maybe adjust into a diamond. You'll have to wait and see, depending on where the shooter comes from. But Patty Kelly will take that at the top and swing that over. And another big shot that goes wide. A little, they need to hit this. Boom. With one second left on the 30-second clock, Patty Kelly fires that ball. You know, I mean, that is a combination of a lot of things, but you certainly can count on Patty Kelly. Check that, Patty Kelly. Good God. I sure hope I haven't been calling him, calling him Patty Kelly. <laughs> Patty Quinn. <laughs> Patty Kelly is a football player a long time ago of, of mine, way back in my St. Pat's days. So excuse me, Patty Quinn. I can't believe I was doing that, if that's the case. And I probably was, and I probably was. Excuse me. All right. So we got a tie game now, and uh, that's what we're looking for most. We'll keep these guys battling back. That's a four-minute minor, so the first two comes off his, and he's got to deal with being short again now. That's the tough part about checking from behind is, you know, the first goal comes off if it's under two minutes. And here you got a break. So you thought it might have been a break, but that was a bit of a flop. No real controversy there. I guess the guy was really just sort of diving on the floor. So he's got 10 seconds to get it over the second stripe. Everybody by now, by now knows that. There we go, finally. A nice little pick and roll underneath that he couldn't pick up. So Halifax is pretty strong on the defense. I think that's really been their thing all year. Um, not uncommon to see them with the ball uh, in the offensive zone because they do play a lot in the open. Especially on the PP. I mean, he shot that off a little early, but hey, you know, that guy shoots the ball and he's high percentage. Pat Quinn. Oh. See, Ryan Daly can normally stay on his feet, but it's pretty slippery tonight on this floor, so you never really know what the situation is. 
He needs to stay up because there's no real penalty if anybody gets cracked in the head when he ducks down like that. He's going one-on-one. -on -one. He can do that, one-on-three. -on -three. Great D by Halifax again, and Brendan DeVoe turns up another great save for Halifax. So it's one-to-one -one with just about 10 minutes left to go in the first period. Pretty much what you expected here. There's no denying that. I mean, it's going to be a tight game. These teams are pretty much mirror image of each other. And another shot goes wide. Well, you know, I don't know if there's a whole lot of system going on here right now, but at the same time, there's a reset with... Uh, okay, so he's over the stripe. Everything's okay. They're four on five still. He's going to go one on one with him. That, I don't know if that's such a high percentage move by Alex Bungie, but at the same time, uh, it didn't quite work out for him. So it's Dartmouth's ball. No, it's Halifax ball. Alex Campbell's going to start with it from the top. He's going to go with a nice little pick and roll in underneath. Geez, that was the cleanest play so far. Clark Hannon with a nice pick underneath there. That was the cleanest one I've seen yet. And they called it on a drive. So, you know, there's some purists in the audience tonight, I guess. And on the floor. All right. So there's another defensive stop by Halifax, who's probably, I'd say, well, clearly of the amount of times they've been down the floor, 10 times down the floor, they've stopped them nine times. So it's uh, another defensive gem and a great shot. Gavin Quigley's got that rifle. John McDonald with the loose ball picked up. He's one on three. He wrestles them off, fights them all off. Chris Walker picked the ball up right back to John McDonald, who's playing fiery, and he plays well when he plays fiery. Gavin Quigley with the shot on goal. Darberth will pick that up and regroup. They're going to put a little press on them. You never know. Might knock the ball loose. So Dartmouth in a transition into a change. And with 8.25 left to go in the first period, Dartmouth is going to try and push that ball around. They're probably looking to shoot off a screen here, uh, but uh, Brent, Brandon DeVoe has been pretty good so far with having some shots. And that's a reset. That shot went off him. Brett and Penny getting blown up. Now he's in the crease. All right. Okay, so we're starting this one out in the crease. Halifax picks that ball up. That's Alex Campbell wheeling down. Probably dragged that ball deep where he should, maybe even down inside the, inside the strike. Tries to force it across, but nothing doing. Patty Quinn with the ball. And a quick shot at in and around. Nice loose ball. Picked up by Sean Kennedy. Lots of shots on goal. The goalie is steady as she goes. Lawrence Liver with the loose ball. Well done. Picked up. He fakes the ball back to Nalsir. Here's where we go here. A little bit of motion, a little bit of moving. That's, the kind of, that's what I'm looking to see. A little bit of moving around, but there doesn't really seem to be anything either way. And it's indicative of the score because it's 1-1 right now. And both these teams are pretty flat here. All right. We're going one-on-one -on -one here. And again, another good save. Okay. So Dartmouth with the ball in their own end. He's going to try and go one-on-one -on -one around them. The fellows are coming out here with... Uh, Strong right and another four le four rights and one left and they're going to isolate this guy one more time. He's going to go one on one in a shot from outside and nothing again. Good lord. All right, five seconds on the thirty. Daly with a long shot, way off into the mesh. Another good stop by Halifax. It has nothing to do with anything other than great defense. I mean, they're doing great. John McDonald up the floor. He's going to, uh, looking to drag that one deep again, like he should. He knows where to go. Across the top. Justin Meisner can't grab onto that one, so it comes down onto the floor. 
12 with 10 seconds left to go. He makes a smart play with his feet to make the ball bounce. Great heads up, great heads up. And a shot on goal to nothing. The 30 seconds expires. Ryan Daly's coming, gonna take that one down the floor with just under six minutes. Probably gonna ISO here and go one on one because that seems to be the way to go here. No pick, no help. They beat him off into the wall and the ball comes loose and up into the mesh. Great D on Halifax, great transition. All right, Patty Quinn with the ball. He's gonna try and take that down the side, but he gets shut down the wall and throws off. Fires it down into Quigley, bringing it quick and around. A wonderful play by Raleigh Ambrose to pick up Halifax's goal. I mean, they just start doing a little bit of lacrosse, as you see when you go over it. He just makes a quick cut around, and it goes pass down deep, and then pass across and a shot on goal. I mean, it's fundamentals. I mean, it couldn't be anything but. And it's wonderful when you see it, it stands out, you know? It's great to see. Okay, well Dartmouth's gonna win that draw and bring it down. He's gonna try and go one-on-one -on -one and there's a little shot in the back, but that's all right, because it's not a big deal. Greg Nussie's the man with the ball. He likes to take that pound and he's gonna fire that one back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because Justin Grant can shoot that ball and that's who that was, 17. Justin Graham again, and another one underneath. If he could increase his accuracy. Great save again, once in underneath there by Brandon. Brandon DeVoe, he makes another good save. He's steady in the net. With under five minutes here left to go in the first frame. Halifax is gonna take that ball down the floor. Chris Walker down deep into Alex Campbell. It's loose in the corner, it's bouncing around. It's a double work harder there. The deep with the ball comes out of there. Wonderful, great speed, loose. It's a great loose ball. And he picks that one up. Okay, so we're, here we are back with now Sear dropping it inside to Trey Carvery. Finally a pick and roll and then they get a shot on goal. Can you imagine? See, I guess I'm a bit of a purist and I like to see that kind of thing. Oh, oh, he's gonna take him away. Yeah, I suppose. You know, I guess what you're gonna see here is probably, uh, so he's giving him a check in from behind. So he's gonna even that up now. With four minutes left to go, they're gonna probably play the remainder of the first frame with the, se the exception of three seconds, five on four. So Raleigh Ambrose is gonna sit for checking from behind for Halifax. Dartmouth gets an opportunity here to pot two if they do it right. And they're gonna see you know, another high percentage power play. Dartmouth five on four. They move the ball around well. Each one of these fellas. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, I'm right here. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so basically what you saw there was it got caught in a, in a pinch of his stick. And basically what happens in that situation is the, the clock gets reset, uh, he just resets the, the ball into his stick and they start from there. So it's just a matter of some clarification is all it was. All right, so we got just under 10 seconds with a long shot from outside. And once again, Brendan DeVoe's gonna stop those. He's not, you know, he's not gonna let those go. He's a high percentage goalie. He always has been, he's been since a young fella. Well in underneath, Patty Quinn on the side. Patty's pretty steady, but there comes the ball loose. Jared Connor's gonna scoop that up. Back to his own guy. They're gonna reload that. But Keefe with the ball, fires that up the floor. Liver to Green. Penny. Penny back. Back to Green. He's the shooter for sure. Everybody knows that. Liver will scoop that loose ball up. The pick and roll wouldn't hurt on anybody here right now, especially with a double down, but they like to shoot that high percentage. 
from outside, and there it is, Bobby Green, who's assisted from Lawrence Fiverr. But what you're going to see is they like to shoot that ball from outside. Uh, they'll just make an adjustment to that. They'll go from a box to a diamond, and it'll just happen. But that's good because they've just sort of timed out on the first penalty. They shot that one off. Now they still got two minutes left to go because it was a check from the high penalty. So Dartmouth is still five on four. Now they just have to kill one penalty off here, Halifax does. But of course, you know, it's a five on four here. So pending any long shots from the outside, they would adjust to a diamond on the D. Oh, he played that with his hand. All right, Dartmouth ball. There we go, okay. Okay, so here it is. Boom. Bap, 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 bap. Wow. And that's, that's how dangerous they can be, okay? But see, that's the thing. How do they play defense? They don't play defense like Halifax plays defense. So it's 3-2. to two, And it's Brett and Penny with a wonderful shot off the screen. But he flattens them here at the end, and you see that in the replay. So that's what happens when it's a pretty high percentage when you go five on four. Generally, anybody can beat anybody, and that's what you see, even, you know, some of the best teams going. So Halifax will pick that ball up. With under two minutes left to go, they're down now, where they were just up 2-1. Okay, so they're going to put the ball deep to Justin Meisner. He's going to swing off the screen. He tries to shoot off that, but nothing doing. Nicky Simpson with the ball. He'll push that up the floor to Alex Bungie, who's going to drag that in and wait for his buddies. Here comes Niall Sear. He'll take that. And he's going to reload that and see if they can get another left on the floor. Trey Carver, he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with him. Waiting for that late left coming straight down the floor. Oh, with a shot in under the chin. Boom, and a shot on, the, on goal. Justin Meisler picked that ball up and push it a little bit up the floor. That's Thomas Sangster with the ball. He's a, a really good defender, right? and I've always liked his game. He's uh, I can appreciate his ability. Justin Meisner is going to take that ball for Halifax and have a shot from way out, and it's a great save on goal. That goaltender is pretty steady there in the Dartmouth net. I've seen him before. I know there's been a trade. I forget the kid's name. I'll have it correct by the second period. All right, so where we are, 26 seconds left to go. 16 left on the big on the clock. He's got just under almost 10 seconds left to go. There's another nice defensive play in the back end there by Raleigh Ambrose. Those shutdown goals there, those could really, those make the difference. Whether that ball's in or out, I'd have to see that. That's a, that's a gutsy call. Here we are, Halifax with four, three, two, and it's off a leg. So at the end of one, we got Dartmouth up, three to two. And uh, it's pretty good as far as that's been a pretty good period there. So he's going to release the benches. Halifax is on its way into a pep talk. We got 10 minutes, and we'll be back with... Bell Community Television after this message from our sponsor.
Welcome back to second period action here live from Spryfield. We're just underway. We got the ball heading down into Dartmouth End on D. And they pick up the Lucy and it sort of pops out. So here we go again. Bakif. Bakif. I got to remember that. I, I don't want to butcher that little fella's name like Don Cherry. Okay, so Trey Carvey's going to take that ball down. They double him and he drops it off. Now, Sear, a little bit of a pick and roll. Oh, you don't want to lose those. That could be the India. He's going to drag that ball with just under 10 seconds in front of the net. Oh, and the shot goes wide. Halifax will pick that up. Transition up the floor. Clark Hannum's going to drag that over the stripe and drop that off. We got the ball going deep. Patty Quinn down to Gavin Quigley. He'll shoot off the screen. And that's exactly what you do, and there it is right there. I mean, the first little bit of lacrosse you see, and they start, they should do that every time down the floor, and they'd get a high percentage shot off every time. So there it is. Gavin Quigley, he's going to tie that up for Halifax right away. That's exactly what they needed. It's the 19-minute mark of the second period. They even it up. You know, the emotions stay nice and balanced. Nobody's too wound up. Here we go again. Everybody except the doggy. <laughs> All right, we've got live action in here. We've got the everybody. Great work here by Dartmouth. Dropped it off. Bobby Green with a quick shot on net. Brandon DeVoe with a good save. Wonderful work on defense. Philip Elford will drag that ball up the floor for Halifax. There's a little pressure put on him. But he pushes it across and a shot on goal, but it goes off a stick. Deep into the corner. Chris Walker with the ball. He's going to shoot off that screen for sure. He's under 10 seconds. He's looking to put that on the net. Dump it deep. That's exactly what you do. Well done. Justin Meisner dumps that ball. That's a smart defensive play. So Dartmouth's going to start up the floor. <coughs> Bobby Green's going to drag that in over the stripe. They've got everybody balanced here now. We've got strong, strong right, three twos. Now it's going to try to go on to him one on one. We got oh young Trombley with his first action of the game, and he sees a shot on goal, and he has to make the complete stop on that one. So Riley Ambrose up the floor for the Lions, who it's just have. 17.30 left to go in the period. <clears throat> Good cut. You know, that's exactly what you got to do. You got to cut across. It's a little bit of lacrosse there. So the ball's down and picked up by Jared Connor. Check that Adam Connor. Jared's the younger brother. All right, off to Riley. Or Ryan Daly for Dartmouth. Takes it straight in over the top with no pressure. Patty Quinn at the top. Ron Daly with a spin move to go one on one. He slings it back to Shooter. He'll fire it across the top again. Greg Nussie from way out there. Picked off. Number 10, yes. I know his son. Oh, they're getting it. So what you're going to see is Dartmouth's going to end up with an interference. Okay, so there's an interference there. And you got this guy with a chop. So basically, what you're going to see is a penalty. Slashing. Now Sear with a slappy, two handed, choppy nature. And uh, Mike doesn't like that type of stuff. And so he's going to call Dartmouth for the two minutes, give the ball to Halifax, and Halifax will start at the top. Jelo Jerome Glowacki, check that. Gavin Quigley with the ball. Rob Grant deep into the corner and cross in behind a John McDonald. will swing that back out to Chris Walker across to Patty Quinn, who's looking to shoot off the screen. Here it comes here, bang. Oh, off the goalie, great save. And yes, it's confirmed. The goaltender for Dartmouth is Bruce Ingerham, and that is who was brought in on the trade. They had that straight. Okay, so we're going to see a little more action here. The ball's loose. Nikki Simpson picks that Lucy up. Gets it in over the stripe. It's switched over again. Three on two. Patty Quinn, I'd shoot it. Bamsies. Oh. Picked up loose off the shot. Grant Blackman swings it back, tries to fire it over the head of John McDonald, 
Now here we go, a little bit of pace. This is what I'd like to see here. A little bit of pace. Well, you know, I don't know. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Shot on goal. Wonderful goal by Halifax. And that's just the type of thing that they do. I mean, you know, any time they've got the athletes. That's why I think the seniority part of this whole thing with these guys being last year guys, a lot of them want to, you know, they want to do it. They need to go to the next level. I mean, it's established. Southwest is waiting for them at the end of this here. Everybody knows. And Southwest is strong, but each one of these teams, Southwest could give these guys a game. So off the back of the net. So here we go. Halifax winding her up. In over the strike. Clark Hannon with the ball. He drops it off to Jerome Glowacki, who's going to drag that ball around deep. Jerome's a good ball player, and I like the way he rolls. Good eyes. Look at that. Great pass. Wonderful. And it starts at the top. Jerome fired it in. I didn't see who potted that goal. It's either three or eight down there, who's either Alex Campbell or Chris Walker. And we'll get it confirmed. Wonderful hands. Great look by Jerome Glowacki. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That If they keep that type of thing up, I think that's what they can do more of. And Dartmouth doesn't have an answer for that. So here we go again. Halifax with the windup. The ball's down. You know, in the game plan, what does Halifax need to do? It would be nice if... It'd be nice if Halifax could get a just a shot on, maybe pick the ball up again. It's not necessary that they score. It's 5-3, but to execute a 30-second shot clock would be nice. And there we go. I guess it was. That's a reset. Dartmouth's going to pick that up and run up the floor. Nikki Simpson in transition. Back to Bakif over to Nussie. He's going to drag that around, go one-on-one -on -one with 15. He tries to go a little bit too tight for that. Yeah, you're never going to get either one of those from both of those guys. Taking it strong like that, you may as well forget it. That's two taken back like that. One on the other end and then one down there. It's two goals. That's 5-3. It's 5-5. Five, five. You tell me. Do both of those goals count? Maybe. I'd like to go upstairs to see that. I'm just being controversial guy because I get to be an official on the floor just like these fellas. So the ball's loose over into the corner. And they did cough it up so hard that it spanked off the mesh and went out. So Halifax with the ball on a reload from the top. Set their guys up, slow and steady. 13.46 left to go in the second period. Take your time, you kill some clock. You're ahead by two. You do, don't need to put too much pressure on them, but control your 30 and use it. Use the whole thing. And that's not that bad. That's not that bad of a deal right there. It's not back into the crease. He's going to get to shoot that over. Nice. Perfect. That's exactly what you do. Blackman with the ball up to Daly. Daly to the top to Bakeef. Oh, my. The ball down onto the ground. So we got Justin Graham with the ball. Oh, they got a penalty. They're coming up here with something that I missed when I looked down to check a name. So Dartmouth is six on five here right now. And that's not going to happen. Okay, so somewhere in time he's got an illegal cross check. It looks like coming up. I'll check the signal. Two minutes for an illegal cross-check. So the way it looks to me is he cross-checked him on the ground. And uh, seeing as we got that guy's name right now, we're going to throw that fellow in the box for two minutes. That's Daniel McEachern. Daniel, you've earned two minutes for an illegal cross-check. Have yourself a seat. We'd like to thank uh, all involved for tweeting his, the appropriate name and getting a hold of us. So, Daniel, you get two minutes. Oh, and you know what? That's a shot from out that makes it in. 5-4, Halifax. Bobby Green with a long bomber. And you know what? Sometimes that, that's the type of thing that can happen. 
and that's why you do what you do. I mean, what's the percentage on these? I'd really like to have the stats on uh, shots from out like that, but hey, if it doesn't matter if it rockets in or if it goes in slow, it still crosses the line. And that's the ball game, you know? 5-4. Dartmouth will pick that loose ball up. Liver will fire that across to Trey Carberry with a shot on. And it misses the net completely. Greg Langell will pick that ball up for Halifax. He's going to pick it up and drive it up the middle of the floor here. There'll be a change. There'll be a little bit of hard work here on defense. It's 5-4. They need to stop him. John McDonald with a try, and it's a great stop on D by number 10 from Dartmouth. Oh, he just ringed it off his head. And a great save. Another great save by the goaltender, Bruce Ingraham. So Ingraham's holding Dartmouth in there. There's no denying that one. I mean, it certainly could be a whole lot to not enough right about now. But uh, what you're seeing is a great defensive performance by Halifax. And Dartmouth really needs to execute when they can. They're not getting a whole lot of scoring opportunities. Bang, right there. Well done. Brett and Penny, certainly exactly what they needed right at this point in time. With 11.32 left to go on the clock. They needed to score. That's exactly what they did. They tied it up. It's 5-5. That's exactly what the Dartmouth needed. They're a shot in the arm that maybe they can get them uh, to carry on through. It's going to be a long second period. They're still more than halfway to the end. The ball's loose. Nicky Simpson with the pickup. He's speedy. There's no denying that. Okay, here we go. Bob Green with the ball deep. He's got it. Fired across. There he goes. Knocked down, but it's picked off wonderfully. That's a great snatch right out of the air. <laughs> Neil McCallum, wonderful. Great hands. Clark Hannum to Robbie Grant. Robbie's in, in, also in the trade from Sackville for a bunch of draft picks and a whole bunch of lots of other things. The shot on goal by Grant from way out, but that's picked off by Britt Ingraham with a great chest save. He knocked her down pretty easy. All right, here we go. So we got uh, the Bandits again. Oh, 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 oh. We don't need any of that nonsense. I'm not really sure they want to take it that way right now. It's 5-5. Five, five. That's not really the angle that I would take if I was the coach. I wouldn't want to be heating anybody up here right now. We don't want to wake up any sleeping giants, if you know what I'm talking about. So uh, just leave it as is here. It's 5-5. Five, five. Everything is nice. There's nothing crazy going on. Nobody's hot. Here we go. Pick and roll. He did it the wrong way, and he lost sight of it, and it bounced out of his stick. But Keith with the ball behind his net. He's going to wheel back and slowly come up the floor. It's the best thing for everybody involved. I'd say both teams should just take their time and bring it up the floor. Use their 30s as deep as they can go. Here we go. Some cutting across the middle and a shot on goal. Finally, a little bit of percentage. Well done by now, Sarah. He knows what's up. So a little bit of this bounce pass stuff is something that I've always not... That kills me. I don't like when they do that, but that's just me. I'm kind of a purist. Okay, so the Lions with the ball across. Glowacki with the ball. I like this guy. This guy, I've always liked his game. And look at this here. Across the middle. He should have snatched that one. Hand him. That's all him. He can handle that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so Dartmouth up the floor. We're under 10 minutes left to go in the second period. Keith with the ball. He's going to push that to the right side. Now Sears going to go one-on-one. -on -one. The floor's a little slippery, so it's not as tight as I'd like it to be with the, the footing. But All right, so Bobby Green to go one-on-one. -on -one. He goes bounce outside in, trying to go in on the D, but they stop him. 6-5-4, and a shot on goal. And you never know with those shots. You never know with those shots. They might go in. So we got 5-5, five, 8-55 five, left to go. Halifax will be... Patient is what they should be. Is they should obviously go for every shot or every type of scoring opportunity that they can muster up. 
But, you know, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. Shot off the screen. Bam, right here. Oh, there's the ball off the side of the head. I can't see it, but it's picked up by Dartmouth in transition. Right off that young fella's melon. That's a... Okay. 20 seconds to get to there, so... Or 10 seconds to get to there, so here we go with now 15 on the 30. Forced inside. Justin Graham can't pick it up. Gaetan Trombley with the ball. Oh, he fires it across, but it's picked off. Nice D. Thomas Sangster, well done. Thomas Sangster is certainly a defensive standout. There's no denying. He plays on any defensive, on any team that's a provincial team, Thomas Sangster should play on. If it's junior, he's got my vote. All right, that's it. He makes a cut, they chop his stick out of it. And that's exactly what you gotta do. Okay, so Dartmouth, no real pressure. Everything is good. They're walking their way through it. Nobody's getting too anxious right yet. Nothing's getting too heated. It wouldn't hurt if they could pass the ball back and forth. You know, the tough part is, is it's like 10 seconds left on the 30, and they're doing this type of thing here, firing it away. A long time ago, you know, these guys had, oh my goodness gracious. It's not really uh, as technically sound as you'd like it to be, but I guess. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey. Don't forget, everybody, it's lacrosse. Hey. Ow, he rung that off Buddy's leg. That ain't no good. Oh, right over top of the doggy. Okay. Well, they're not going to let that happen. So they're going to reset it all the way back with Dartmouth. Picking the ball up with a fresh 30 at the top. Liver to Bobby Green. They need to get that ball deeper than that. That's not really where they want it to be. Oh, he fired him out of the way. And that shot went wide. But there's still lots of time. This wouldn't be good if he did that. But that's a very sporty of him not to run him up. Here we go here, touch, touch, Fuji Fuji scores. Clay Carvery, Bratton Penny. Assistant number 19, Lawrence Liver. You know, that's exactly what they need to happen. I mean, it's just gonna be a battle of attrition. <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what, that's exactly what, uh, That's exactly what, yeah, see, I was going to say, you got to hydrate them goalies, keep it right. Those guys are working pretty hard. This is a tight game here with 6.25 left to go. I have no problem with this type of water break. You could do it twice a period if you ask me, but I'm just sort of, I'm just overdoing it, you know. I mean, uh, but I think that's sort of what you should do for the goaltenders. I've played that position before. It's hard to do. Anyway, there we go. Back into the action. Rob Grant with the ball. He picked that up loose. He could push that quick. Here comes off the bench. John McDonald with his head turned. Bam. There's a pass. One inside. Patty Quinn. It's that quick. And that's the way it is. That's exactly what it, that's exactly what it looks like. Pass, cut. Pass, give and go. Bang, bang. All right. Thomas Bakeef. Nice loose ball. Nikki Simpson have one. Baby. Shoots it into his stick. All right, well, here we go. This is dangerous. Bang. Spin. Have a shot. Oh, my goodness. Missed her just wide there. Alex Campbell with a wonderful opportunity, but uh, he chose to spin. All right, so we got Lawrence Liver with the ball here down the, what we refer to as the top side of the left. He's got three lefts and two rights out there, so he's strong left. He's going to get the ball deep down into the shooter, down into the crease. He lobbed that across him, coming out of the box. Playing reindeer games with a shot on goal. And a new 30 for Dartmouth. So Dartmouth's going to reload that one, swing that around. He tries to jump it. Now Sear with taking it inside there. He doesn't want any part of that because there's lots of checking going on in there. So with five minutes left to go, 15 on the 30, it's a shot on goal just wide. 
He's a new 30, that's a reset. And a new 30, there we go, good. You'll see that shot from way out there. This will be a tough battle because he's a tough guy. He's rugged too, that number 10. His name's Daniel McKecker. That's right. Rugged play, gets rugged, gets the ball, good reward. All right, so we got the Halifax Lions, Marley Lions, coming up the floor. Should take their time, but they're down by one. There's no panic. I mean, these guys, all they, all they, they, all they need is a possession. And it's just a matter of where and when. There's some interesting play going on here. Oh my goodness gracious. Can't even get the ball out of the crease and they're getting shots on goal. I mean, it's exciting. I'm, I'm actually getting caught watching here. All right, so Dartmouth with a breakout. Here we go. Alex Spungy with the ball. Oh my goodness gracious. Can't pick up the loose. Bretton Penny with the ball. He's gonna drag that all the way around and reload and wait for more troops. There's one here, there's Bobby Green from out. Boom, that's the shot you want if that's what you want him to do. High percentage. Okay, so the Lions will take that ball out with a fresh 30 and 3.30 left to go. He's taking the ball strong down the outside. Ian McKay, swing that ball across with a big shot from outside. Chris Walker's hard work along the wall. He'll dig it up. He'll, if I was him, I'd shoot it, absolutely. I'm looking for a bounce shot under his hand. Here's a fast break. That's good, if he could finish, that'd be nice. That's wonderful play, I mean, that's great all the way around. I get myself caught watching here because it was great on the, on the goal or opportunity and certainly a great save on the goaltender. I just love coming here to watch this and it's just an honor to be able to do this here and help you guys through this game. And it's a great shot from outside by Bretton Penny. It's picked off. Now he's got to take that little brush in the head. He can't take that inside and get all upset at that. So it's still Liver with the ball. They're working away on the D. Finally, they're getting a couple of opportunities. You know, this is what I mean by working the ball. It's like you get a shot on goal, you get the ball back. You get another shot on goal, you get the ball back. There's a shot on the goal, hit the goalie in the head. That's fine. Dig it up. All right, Dartmouth ball again. All right, so it's the transition. Well done. That's great play. I like that. And Thomas Sangster, he's a good ball player. I like the way he plays. Hip hop, nice step. Rob Grant's going to drag that ball down deep for the Lions. Bit of a drive there by Patty Quinn. And a shot across. Well done, fantastic. Clark Hannon with a great shot from the outside. Shooting off a pass, had the goalie moving his feet. Didn't have enough time to cross. Picked the top corner. Beautiful shot, fantastic. I'd love to see a replay of that. I wish we could go back in time. The dog approves, that's for sure. Six, six, tie game. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in the second period. It's exactly what I expected, an even battle all the way. Nasi with the ball into the corner, drags it across on big shot from Justin Grant from outside and he scores two. And he answers back as quickly as the Lions could answer, Darwin could answer and that's exactly what they needed and that's what they need tonight. Wonderful shot from outside. I mean, it's exactly what you needed to do. I mean, they're really following the game plan to a T, if they really had one. Great pickup by McKeith. He's great in the loose balls. He's a wonderful defender. Now Sierra gets it down, down deep into Bretton Penny, across to Greg Nussi with a shot on goal. And another opportunity for Dartmouth. They could have, they need to capitalize off these opportunities. Bratton Penny at the top for Dartmouth. 
He fires that one across to Bobby Green. Bobby Green's looking for a pick. Nussie inside. He tries to shoot off the screen. And the ball goes wide and out. And there's 10 seconds left to go on the 30. There is enough time to generate a shot. Nothing to panic. There's a chop on the hands and a shot wide. He misses. These fellas here don't want to mix this up right now. They don't want that. All right, so Justin Meisner takes the ball for the Lions. He's picked it up and he's going over the stripe. We've got uh, Glowacki with the ball now. Not only do I like his game, I love his name. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, there's the punch in the head that they missed. It goes off a of blue. Right back to the top. All right, take it to the side here. We're going to reset it. Timeout white. So the Lions are going to take a timeout with 50 seconds, 51 seconds left to go. Two possessions technically, but uh, it would be nice to have both possessions. So, uh, you know, you might see something happen where, well, I guess it would be a long change, so you might not see them pull their goaltender. But they might, uh, they might do something. You never know. They might set up a play. So both teams should be ready for this, pending any kind of shenanigans. <laughs> so with 51 seconds left to go, it's 7-6. Dartmouth fought back. They answered right off after that. I mean, it's been a great game so far. It's exactly what I expected. So fresh off the timeout called by Halifax. They're going to keep the goalie in. They're going strong right. They're going to start the ball with a left at the top. Okay. So they'll work their 30. Shot off the screen. And it doesn't happen. 37 seconds, so there's still two timeout. And Dartmouth will call by a timeout. So with 35 seconds left to go, Dartmouth can call a timeout. Halifax could answer. And it's time to maybe draw something up for each team. And we'll see what they come up with. I mean, it would be just as simple as an easy double down. But... Uh, Force the ball deep, shoot across, shoot off a screen. I mean, it's really as fundamental, uh, fundamental as it can be. Well, the old-fashioned pick and roll. Get the ball deep. See if you can't get the goalie turn. Backside, off ball, cutter. I mean, hey, there's lots of options. There's lots of things to do. With 35 seconds left to go in the second period. We've got uh, fresh off the timeout here. Looks like Ian McShane drawing up a play over there. Finger in the sand. Hope he washed his hands. All right, so here we go. We got Dartmouth with the ball way back in there, and they've got 35 seconds, 30 on the big clock. Looks to me like the goalie might be coming out. You never know, but it'd be creative if he did. Put the ball down deep. He can't even hold on to the pass. So now it's still loose. Dartmouth picks it up on a reset, fresh clock. And what I'd do is drag the goalie deep. All right, so they pulled their goaltender. It's under 10 seconds. There's something going on in front there. Yeah, exactly. And he dropped the ball. Nice one. Tweet and at the end of the period. You're going to see Mike Melvin call two minutes for high sticking. On Halifax is Ian McKay. For cross-checking your boy in the side of the head there in front of the net. They never did get a shot off. It's 7-6 at the end of two from the Spryfield Arena on Bell Community Television.
All right, here we go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the third period at 6 7 6. Dartmouth, this will be do or die here right now. There'll be no off the pedal for either club, really, I'd say. Rob Grant's going to take that ball right away for Halifax. Try to control it. Not, not kill the 30. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, so unforced error right there. You don't want that. But as far as Dartmouth goes, that's okay. They don't mind that. All right, so Bob Green's going to take this ball. They're five on four. They're still killing the penalty. There's a minute and 35 left to kill in that penalty. And uh, they're going to work that ball around probably. I don't know, really. I mean, you never know really what's going to happen. It's a 7-6 game. They're looking to press. They're looking to put They're looking to put shots on the net is what I really want to say. A 3 2 one, zero. No, that doesn't count. Oh, he called that okay. He called that a shot. Yeah, except that. I didn't think that was appropriate. Okay. All right. He wants it all the way back. Okay, so here we go. Halifax is short. They need to get it over the second stripe. All right. Patty Quinn is going to take that ball strong to the net. Glowacki with the ball. He's got lots of bounce. He can move. And he'll probably kill the body of this with 53 seconds left. He's going to go one on two here. And jump through the hole with a shot on goal. Oh, his stick's busted. Oh. It's not that big of a deal. The people are all wound up over something that really its not that big of a deal. He just went to the ground. Okay, so with the power play. 27 seconds left to go. They got 17 left on this there. 30. They're going to have to get a shot off here. They're starting to move around. There's a little bit. Oh, he just rung his own boy off the side of the head with the ball. Well, that's not part of the playbook, I don't think. He's going to need a shot from outside. And that doesn't happen. Okay, so Halifax. 18 minutes. And Halifax has uh, got the ball here. And now they're still in the short. Okay, so everything's even. Here we go. Everything's even. And uh, Halifax with the ball. Justin Meisner is going to press the top. Oh, jeez. Brush off the head there. Hit the stick. This is Rob Grant's thing. He likes this. He wants to shoot from here. He tries to drop the pick and roll over to Justin Meisner. With just under eight seconds left to go. He fires that ball wide. Not really sure of that one, but Grant Blackman can't grab a hold of that. And the 30 expires. With Dartmouth taking that ball. They're going to turn that up the floor to Bob Green. He's going to go three rights, two lefts. He fakes it to Bretton Penny. He still has the ball. He's going to go one-on-one, -on -one, take it right down the hole. And the roll guy was there, but Keith, but he never seen him or he never threw it to him or whatever he was thinking. There he goes, one on one with him again. Wonderful. Fantastic hands inside. Thomas, Tom McKeith. Fantastic. From Bob Green, who dragged that ball around like he had a man with a plan. It really doesn't change much. It just puts a little more pressure on Halifax to come back. It's 8 6. There's 17 minutes left to go. There's all kinds of time. The dog approves. I wanted to bring my dog here tonight, too. However, it didn't quite work out that way. Okay, so Dartmouth's going to pick that up. Lawrence Liver, he, this is what he does. He picks up loose balls. He's pretty dangerous like that. Here we go, two on one. Bam, this is going to be a shot. Greg Nussie, shot on goal. Fantastic. Another broken stick. Bunch of pocket pounders here tonight for me. Okay, we got a little bit of... Uh, Chop session going across the way there. John McDonald's going to go one on one. He dumps it deep into the corner to Patty Quinn. Patty's going one on one. And this is it. New 30 picked up by Lawrence Liver. Lawrence will take that up the floor. 
under control, wait for the rest of his troops. Absolutely, fantastic. Bratton Penny with the ball on the O. He's going to drop a fake to now Sear. Across the top, Trey Carver, he's going to try and muscle it in there one on one. Real nice. Real nice. I guess you're seeing a little bit of fatigue from Halifax. And you're seeing the pedal going down from Dartmouth. Under control here. There's all kinds of time left in this game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so what I didn't see was they're changing the goaltender. So out comes Brandon DeVoe. And in goes Pat Keats. Pat's got an extensive background. He's been a provincial goaltender before. So what you'll see is you'll probably see officially the Halifax will have to warm him up. They'll take two minutes. And we can take a two-minute break. Just turned it up a notch. Okay, well, another face-off win by Justin Graham. He's pretty high percentage, but it turns out that the Lions end up with it. Clark Hannum is going to take that ball deep. John McDonald with a pick and a shot off the screen. That's that's lacrosse. I mean, that's exactly it. Do it again. Nice pick and roll, very nice. There you go. Once again, same old thing, song and dance. It's the same old thing. Nope, shot wide. That's no good. So a turnover, uh, shot that went wide. We got Brett and Penny with the ball. For Dartmouth, he's gonna drag that to the side here. Wait till his body show up. Post in a cut, he's gonna post up. Far that ball deep, looking for a cut. Oh, a little punch in the head. Takes one across the side of the head, but no, now Sears got that ball. He swings it deep. Trey Carver's inside. He's got nobody to pass to, so why not go one on one? That call doesn't count. The 30 second clock went off before that. 
That's three goals come back for those for Dartmouth. I mean, theoretically, this game could be 12-6 right now. I mean, I, I don't see it being really like that, but, I mean, there's been a couple called back. Cross crease. Shot on goal. Oh. Alex Campbell couldn't get it off there for the Lions. Okay, so Dartmouth with 14 and change left coming up the floor. They're up by three. Nothing desperate, nothing necessary right now. They need to just kill this 30, get a shot on goal, work the clock a little, be a couple of shots that would be nice. They're getting worked on pretty hard inside there. It causes a transit transit. So Scotty's calling the penalty there for what I didn't see. But it's entirely possible he contacted the goalie in the crease or somebody in the crease. So Halifax is going to get an advantage here. Oh, and it's trapped into his stick. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you got the goalie out, six on five. They got under 10 seconds to get this off. It's going to be a shot from outside. And he missed it. Oh. And all you get is one. So a 13-24, Dartmouth's going to go short. For two minutes. For interference while in the crease, absolutely. Cannot touch the goaltender or anybody in the crease while in the crease with the ball. Okay, so this is exactly what Halifax is looking for. They needed the opportunity here to... This will be Gavin Quigley at the top. Patty Quinn. Your boy Chris Walker with the ball down deep into his boy, John McDonald, across to Gavin Quigley. And probably a shot from there, but a switcheroo and a Fuja. And Patty Quinn dumps it over. So he cuts across the middle and it's a quick shot on goal. Oh, he can't really do that. Yeah, that's not that's not right. That's not right. One. There you go. So they're short, so they, they've only got 10 seconds. All right, so he's gonna take that strong. Wow. I can't believe nobody stepped across there. That's too bad. They went one on three there. But that's Trey's game. I mean, that's the kind of thing he can do. I mean, that's he's big and strong. No one's going to take him one on one. And if they can, they can run him off. But they can't. I've been saying that for a while now. Post him up. Everybody's pretty happy here right now. Ten to six. Ten to six. It's twelve fifty. Left to go. He's going white ball on the up. So Halifax is going to pick that ball up with 12.48 left to go in the first period. Check that third period. Excuse me. I'm looking up at the numbers. And it's five on four. And there's a lot of work going on inside there. But I don't really know what he's really doing. But uh, they need a shot on goal here. Zing. This is exactly what Dartmouth is looking for. I mean, this is the kind of pressure that they need while they're short. That, on the other hand, is not so much. An unforced error. They're not really looking for that kind of thing. With 12 minutes and 15 seconds left to go, this is going to be important that they kill this off. And if they kill that off, that would be nice because that will be good momentum for them. I mean, are they tired? Yes. Is Halifax tired? Yes. Is it? Great save. Reset on that, and he's running it up. It's going one-on-one, -on -one and he should drag that out and, and wait till he's over the stripe and wait for his buddies because this is not something he wants to do. One-on-one. -on -one. You've got 25 seconds left to kill. There's no... That a boy. Fire that around into the four corners. Spread them out. Spread them out. Very good. Okay, going to move that ball around while you can. While you can, you do not want to drag this ball because you end up... Taking too much heat. And if that's what you want to do, if you can get if you have that kind of hands, then I guess that's something that, you know. Alright, so they broke it to even now. So now it's five on five. So now it's even. It's eleven fifteen left to go in the third period. Halifax needs to make a push here, but uh, so no necessary unforced errors for Dartmouth, but uh, there's one there. That's something that they didn't want to get themselves into. But uh, here comes John McDonald down the side. Dartmouth is ready. He's going one-on-one. -on -one. 
Shot off the screen, great save. Really nice save by the goaltender, Ingraham. The ball's loosened behind there. Someone needs to kick it up. Ball is loose still. Picked up again by Halifax in a new 30. I don't know what they're thinking here, but boom, the shot goes wide. Stung Scotty, but he's made a steal, that little fella. So Halifax is swinging that ball around. Meisner's looking for a shot. Patty Quinn can't wrangle it. Look at that now. Alex Bungie, one on one. Oh, just missed. Nice shot at him. Nice pickup. He doesn't get that call because he ducked. Here we go, one on one. Trey Carberry, this is your man. Oh, my goodness. Picked up on the bounce. Ian McKay, good hands on D consistently. Okay, well, there's a little bit of work going on over by the box, but I'm not sure they want to get into that because that's a two and a 10. <clears throat> and uh, it's not necessarily, I would, it's not, I wouldn't say desperate right now, but it wouldn't hurt if Halifax potted one. They've got plenty of time. The goaltender is definitely, uh, definitely what's up. There's no denying that. And uh, that was a good idea on the trade by Dartmouth, whoever decided to make that move because that's exactly what they needed. A little experience in the goaltending. I mean, they get, they're deep in the goal, but that guy makes the difference. Here we go. Great, great charge at the net by Greg Nussie. Brett and Penny hard on, hard on the Halifax defender, Riley Ambrose. But we've got Chris Walker with the ball going one-on-one. -on -one. He'll shoot off that. You know, it's not often that he misses, so it could be that he's not dialed in. He's not getting enough shots. I'm not sure. Okay, so we got a little bit of a... All right, so we don't want anything happening in the channels. Okay, Dartmouth's just going to go under control like they should. This is exactly what they should be doing. Using the 30. If, if think and shoot it though, because it's five seconds, four, three. Nice, very nice. Get that loose ball. Okay, there we go, it's gone. All righty, here we go. Eight minutes left to go. I mean, the time is getting short. I wouldn't start panicking until about the four minute mark, and then even then I wouldn't start panicking until about the two minute mark. So, I don't think it's necessary to get oh he clubbed him across the side of the head with that but uh, oh my I seen it but you know what it's a whole different angle up here you're on the floor you're on the floor up here it looks like you know you could be the armchair quarterback anytime all right so we got a lot of hard stick work going on inside underneath and uh, you know what, that's where that stuff goes down, so that's what you, you learn to expect that. Oh, great ball movement, my goodness gracious. Once again, I get caught watching these guys playing because I just love watching these fellas fire that ball around, especially when they make, you know, a handful of passes in a row and they zip, zip, zip it across the crease. Greg Nussie taking his classic beating in the corner because he likes to do that. With 15 seconds left to go. On the clock, Lawrence Livers in the wrong corner, but oh my, comes out swinging. Okay, here we go, bounce, bounce. Halifax picks that ball up. Let's go. Chris Walker's got that ball. He's gonna looking at watch the feet there. Ball's down in the side. There's still hard work going on inside with five seconds left to go in the 30. Glowacki with the ball. He's trying to get a shot off, and that goes wide and up into the mesh. Six, oh, and that one's out of play. All right, so the Bandits in transition. It's Penny up the floor. There's lots of hard work going on inside there. Here comes Nalsir to go one-on-one. -on -one. 
And he's going to cough that one up, and yard sale is thick. The ball comes loose, though. Bobby Green hustles back to pick that up for a new 30. So with under six minutes left to go, Dartmouth's handy in front here now, 10-6. But, you know, the question remains, can they hold on? And, you know, it, does Halifax make a push here? You know, do they back off? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think. I mean, everything has been seemingly okay since they changed goalies. So, you know, a little, little shot in the arm, a little plug for him. But uh, great inside. Yeah, that's a good call. Okay, so now we got Halifax on transition there with their offense with 5.23 left to go. It's, uh, you know, like I said, nothing to worry about yet. I mean, there's still lots of time, but Halifax has gone flat. Uh, I'd like to know statistically when it was uh, that they've got their last goal because uh, it's been a while. I don't know what was just so exciting about that one. Just knocked the guy flying, but, I mean, you know, when you're six foot four, Cut inside, John McDonald with a shot on goal. No. The ball's in the crease. It's not back in. Okay. There we go. So we got 4.49 left to go in the third period. And it's Dartmouth with a 10-6 lead. It's, um, you know, pretty much gone, gone according to what I would consider a game plan. Uh, they still, you know, with a handful of seconds left to go on the 30-second clock. You know, if I was the coach, this is exactly how I'd draw, draw it up. Okay, so we're going to hydrate the goaltenders. So basically what's going to happen here is you're going to see these goalies get a quick drink. The fellows will stay away from the bench. They'll try not to coach them up as much as possible, but, I mean, you know, if I was the coach, I'd be coaching them up from wherever they stood. Uh, with 4.24 left to go in the third frame. Like I said, it's not really time to panic. What's that? Oh, it's good. Uh, let's just leave it. Yeah, we'll see what we get Hopefully we'll do it. Thanks. So, uh, yeah, right. So with 4.24 left to go, here we have a, the ball's in. I'm gonna shut that door there. All right, so there's this heavy pressure right away. Pick and roll inside, but it bounces over his head. Dartmouth with the pickup. Lawrence Liver, steady as she goes. With four minutes left to go on the big clock. It's just a, a much different, it's a much different situation here now. I mean, it's a matter of controlling the clock using your 30, get your shot on goal, pick the loose ball up. It's almost like you need extra hustle. Oh, that's, that would be interference. But you know what, knocking them down, that's exactly what you gotta do. I mean, that's a smart play. All right, but they do get a new 30, which is the unfortunate part, but you don't wanna give that guy any scoring opportunities because he's dangerous at all times. All right, loose ball picked up off the side of the wall. Clark Hannon gets blown up in behind where the ball comes loose. They're going to give Hanneman the ball back. Halifax is going to pull their goalie out, and they're going to push six on five. With in under the four-minute mark now to three minutes and 20 seconds, you can see how somebody might be concerned now. But you can score a goal in lacrosse in five seconds if, you, if it's properly pulled from the face off and pushed up the floor and you get an opportunity. I mean, they don't want to kill too much time on this 30-second clock, but at the same time, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Step out there. That's not the shot. That actually could go in the net right there. All right. So that didn't happen. So at 2.56 now, it's going to be Dartmouth's ball. With 2.56, you're going to see hand, all hands on deck here. It's going to be pretty busy. Now, technically what you'd like to see is press D from Halifax all the way across. You wouldn't don't want anybody really left wide open. Here's a break right here. Oh, but that's a nice stick check. And uh, you don't really want anybody left open because he really should just, you know, hold the ball and throw it to his buddy. But, you know, coughing it up is not really what you want to do. All right, so that, there, that's something that Dartmouth didn't want to do. However, with 10-6, we're getting to 2.30. We're coming down the floor here, Halifax. They need to score in the next 
minute and a half really to make the difference here. They, I mean, they really need an opportunity right here. That would have been good if they had potted that. So there's hustle everywhere. Dartmouth comes up with it. The ball comes loose. It's a melee. It's hard to say right now. And Dartmouth will come out of there with it. Back to Halifax. Now it's under two minutes, and now I'd be worried. They need to score four times. They need 30 seconds. They need a possession each time. Great save inside by Ingraham. He's going to be the difference. This will be the nail in the coffin if Nick Simpson can knock this down, or even if he wants to. And he tried to no avail. But with a minute and 30 left to go, I'm not so sure that anything can be done here right now. Looks like the legs are gone from the Lions and looks like they'll fight another day. However, that day will be Tuesday. And Tuesday, Tuesday will be a whole different ball game. Minute and 16 seconds, they need a shot. They really shouldn't waste any time. It was great ball movement. It was great, but great ball movement, but no shot on goal. So with the last minute coming up here, Dartmouth just wants to control the ball. Dartmouth just wants to control the ball and, uh, you know, no shenanigans. You don't need any trouble. You don't need any problems. You certainly don't want anybody beating on one of your stars like this guy's doing right now. Well, you don't stand there. See, the problem is, is that you don't stand there. Right. Okay, so he's given 15 two minutes for an illegal cross check, probably. But it's just a sign of frustration, I think, here with 32 seconds left to go in a 10-6 game. It's a matter of uh, just a matter of getting hot, you know. I mean, it's just a matter of uh, losing your temper. I don't think he was doing anything inappropriate, but at the same time, young Penny was standing in front of him, and he uh, didn't want to move. So technically what you do is you run away from that guy. Oh, here we go. This is what you want to do here. So that's the kind of thing that Dartmouth doesn't want to get involved in. Dartmouth doesn't want to get involved in that kind of thing because there's another game Tuesday. There's another game Tuesday that you've got to think about right now, especially when your blood's boiling. And you've got to be smart. And that guy is super productive. And I wouldn't trade number 10 in white for number 2 in, and for number 7 in blue any day of the week. The smart play. The smart play is to walk away. 18 seconds left to go. You can just work them hard. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 10-6 Dartmouth. And they will play again, game five. And it will decide who goes on to see Halifax Southwest in the championship. That game will be Tuesday at 7.30, probably in Shearwater. And it's been an up my pleasure to be part of this broadcast from Bell Community Television. I'm Sean Harrison. Thank you very much. Everybody drive safe and uh, see you Tuesday night. Bye for now. And ju this just in, uh, if if you guys are still watching, the the this will be on Tuesday night, but it will be on the Dartmouth Bandits portion of the show. So you'll have to click on the Dartmouth Bandits icon, I guess, and uh, it'll take you there. All right, so we'll see you on Tuesday, and you won't see me, but you'll see me on the floor. So, all right, everybody. Good night and drive safe. Hey, friends. Yeah, make sure the, uh, the, the game will be on the Dartmouth Bandits viewer. So uh, make sure you go to community1.bellalliant.ca and you can scroll down and find it there uh, Tuesday night at 730. We'll see you then.